Hello, I'm Steve. This is a bit of munch. And I've got some new cheeseburgers to try today. Fleming's. Never heard of them. Pack of two for two pound from Iceland. It's a good price. Will they, will they be any good? They also had, for the same price, packs of two chicken burgers and packs of two hot dogs. I didn't get them. I just got the cheeseburgers. And you can probably see, I've already undone one of them. I'm going to be cooking these in two different ways. I'm going to microwave one, and I'm going to air fry one, well, air fry the burger, and toast the bun. And uh, the unusual thing about these, well, it's two unusual things. There might be even more. I don't know. Um, you get Heinz tomato ketchup with them, which at this price point is pretty good. And the cheese slice isn't wrapped in plastic. As you can see in that one, it's in the burger. Now I've taken this one out just to check that I could remove the cheese slice from the burger. Because <laughs> otherwise I didn't want to air fry the cheese slice for the whole time. Because it would just sort of, I don't know what would happen to it. But yeah, here's the burger. There it is. Now, are you ready for me to tell you what's in it? Let's just get that get that cheese slice out of there. There we go. Now, these contain a burger made with mechanically separated chicken meat and beef in a white sesame seeded bun with a slice of processed cheese and a sachet of, sachet of tomato ketchup. And reading the ingredients, they don't make particularly encouraging reading. There's quite a few nasty things in there. I mean, I'll show you whether it'll focus. It probably won't. But you can always go on the Iceland website and have a look for yourself. Uh, 261 grams in total. So you have to microwave, so you remove the packaging, including sauce sachets, and heat the product in the middle of the microwave for at least 60 seconds, garnished with the ketchup. So I'll do that with one of them. With the other one, I'll take the, uh, so I'll take the, uh, the patty out, and I'll uh, air fry that, and I'll toast the bun. Now, was, I, I, I had no idea how long I'd have to air fry this. So I must admit, I've Googled it. And it seems that about five minutes is about the recommended time for a burger like this to uh, air fry it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it for two, two and a half minutes, flip it over, and then do it for another two and a half. And we'll see how they both turn out. See if there's any difference in the preparation, you know, if, if that makes any difference to the actual taste. Right, what else can I tell you? Oh yeah, I mean, it makes it look lovely on the uh, picture there, doesn't it? With all the, you know, all the nice salad in it. You've, well, you've got lettuce, tomato, onion, um, pickles by the looks of it. I haven't got any of that, so there won't be any of that in my burgers. Uh, <laughs> well, I've got some lettuce in the fridge, but it's quite old and it's probably no good now. That's, that's, irrelevant, that's irrelevant, isn't it? There I go again, just going off on a tangent. Right, Flemings. Have you ever heard of Flemings? Because I haven't. I say, new in Iceland. They might have been out for ages, but I've never seen them, so they're new to me. Flemings. This doesn't sound very appetising, does it? Just makes you think of phlegm. Okay, and on that note, I will prepare them. What I didn't tell you was the actual percentage of meat in these, did I? Um, the burger itself is made up of 60% mechanically separated chicken meat and 15% beef. So 75% meat. And, yeah, make, make of that what you will. Mechanically separated. Discuss. <laughs> right, they're done. So... Microwaved, toasted and air fried. I've got to keep them that way round. I've got a little bit of paper here so I don't get them mixed up. 
Well, I don't think I would get them mixed up because the uh, obviously this bun has been in the toaster, so that's a bit darker on top. Uh, if you can see that, you probably can. We might be able to. Right, I'm going to cut them in half and then we'll give them a try. Right, there's the microwave one. Now, obviously, the cheese on the microwave one is a lot more melty because you leave the cheese slice in there while you just microwave the whole thing, then you add the sauce. So this one, the cheese, you can tell it's, uh, it's not as melty, basically. Right, so let's try the microwave one first, because after all, this is what it says on the pack. This is how you're meant to, pre to uh, prepare it. Well, it's the only way it says on the pack to prepare it. It doesn't give you any other cooking instructions, so... The bun is really moist, um, <clears throat> not really picking up the cheese at the moment to be honest. The burger has got a good consistency, it's not mushy at all. Um, the taste though, yeah, the taste. Excuse me. There's not really much going on with the taste at all. In other words, it don't taste of much. The main taste I'm getting is the ketchup. So have one more bite and then we'll go for the air fried one. Don't get me wrong though, I've had a lot worse burgers. There's no gristly bits in it, no chewy bit, bits, no hard bits. It just hasn't got a lot of taste, but you know, it's perfectly edible. Okay, so this one, the bun's been toasted. The burger patty has been air fried. <clears throat> that has got considerably more taste. <laughs> the main, well, no, not the main, but one of the main, one of the extra tastes I'm picking up is the um, sesame seeds. Because the bun that's been in the toaster, they've got a, a toasty taste, <laughs> surprisingly. But no, the burger itself is more tasty as well. Well, that's definitely the way to prepare it. It really is. And I mean, five minutes compared to one minute, it's not much difference really, is it? And uh, yeah, it's not amazing. It's not going to win any burger awards. But as I said, I've had a lot worse. I've no doubt I will have worse. <laughs> um, and two for two pound, it's all right. It's all right. That's, that's the best I can say. But it's, it's so all right. I'm going to have another bite of this air fried one. Yeah, a bit more than all right. 
know that's not a very professional way to describe it, but I'm not a very professional person. Uh, <laughs> so Fleming's cheeseburgers, two for two pound in Iceland. Do I recommend them? Yeah, for the price, yes, I do. I wonder what the chicken burgers are like. I wonder what the hot dogs are like. I wonder if I'll try them. I don't know if I will. I haven't, I haven't bought them, so... If you want me to review them, let me know in the comments. And uh, and I won't. I mean, I, mean, I might. <laughs> right, thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next video.